Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John Coleman and I get to speak with Bill Jordan, the boomer we love to embrace. The happy boomer. He's a happy, look at that smile. Come I on. I am, I am happy. Hey, come on, I'm embracing the boom. I'm embracing being a baby boomer. I'm embracing where I, I am in life. Some of the things aren't like they used to be, but there's still some good things about getting older. That is the goal, right? I mean. So yeah. I'll drink to that. I'm I'm embracing your boom too. <laughs> there you so, go. So what what uh, what makes you happy, Bill? Oh wow! You know what? Um, being retired for the most part makes me happy. Not having meetings, not having meetings about meetings, and really only <laughs> having to uh, answer to generally one or two people, and that would be my wife and my daughter. So uh, that's pretty good. Uh, oh, the good. part of the happy. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so what, uh, to keep you happy, what makes your wife happy? <laughs> if you do it the first time, I tell you, it's not nagging. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I kid, she does not nag, but she does have to remind me of, oh, sometimes quite a bit. Hey, don't forget to, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I said I would do that. Finally, it's like, just make me do it when you ask me because it's, it's mentally, it's gone. Take out the trash, you know. Um, I think there's a lot to what makes her happy is, one, we communicate. I think we communicate very well and we communicate often. I mean, we've been, yeah, I've been at home and doing voiceover stuff. I've not worked outside of the home other than mowing the lawn. Uh, I've not been outside of the home, working outside of the home since March of 2013. So for over 10 years, we've been pretty much joined at the hip. I mean, mm. you know, so, and I, and I think we get along really well. I mean, there's no, there's very few, there might be disagreements and I don't even want to say arguments. Um, but I, let me, it's a great time to bring this up. There's always this saying, and I, and I see this on social media all the time. And it's in, and in sitcoms particularly, it is like the dad in a sitcom the husband slash dad in the sitcom is the big dummy. He's yeah. the big inept guy and he's always in trouble and he's always trying to make his wife happy. And that line, you know, happy wife, happy life, just do whatever she says and keep her happy and you'll be happy. And I just, I just don't, I just don't buy into that. And it's taken me maybe a while to get there, but I'm more of the, uh, happy spouse, happy house, uh, try to keep each other happy. Because if you tr if you just lean on trying to keep one happy, then the other one's going to get a little resentful from time to time, I think. And I, I think it's a better, a lot, a lot of this stuff, the rules that we hear like for husbands, for wives, pertain for wives to husbands as well, or mate to mate, we'll put it that way in this, you know, this day and age. Um, I mean, does that make sense to you guys? Don't you try to, I mean, oh, yeah. you, you keep I mean, your that's, wife that's, happy, but, but your wife is also trying to keep you happy, is she not? Sure, but, you know, I, I wonder if perhaps men and women, because we know we're hardwired differently, right? I wonder if perhaps women are naturally wired to um, try to make their husbands happy, and men are not, you know, the reverse so it, are, it does wait, 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 John, that, 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 John, that, that happy wife, happy life they should is be needed happy for men. They should be happy because we're here, okay, and we occasionally do stuff uh, without being asked. So what more do you want? Uh, no, my, 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 wife, my wife has uh, certain things that I know make her happy, and I, I still, like you say, have to be reminded a few times, like... Uh, and the one I can't get away with is changing the, the filter, the water filter on the refrigerator because this orange light goes on. And she knows that if I could just push the button when she's not looking and get another six months out of it. But every so often when I when I do change it, uh, I make a big deal of it and I bring the, the knee pad down so I could lean down and I let her know that I'm doing it. And yeah. So that it makes her happy when I do things like that, where she doesn't have to ask me eighteen times. You yeah, know, if I could... and then and then after you do that, you're done for the day. You change the water filter, and like, man, you, oof, oof, I'm 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 beat. The day I mean, of the week. I, 
time to recline. Something else a friend of mine posted on Facebook the other day, and it was something like, you know, it's kind of like, would you rather be right or happy? And in pertaining to his wife, you let her just agree. You should yeah. just, just agree with your wife, whatever she wants to do. And he says, is this, is this dumb or is this wise? And I, I, my suggestion, again, from where I am, in matters that are insignificant, sure, just agree. In matters that are very significant, then you need to correct her or whoever rather than just let them go on their way. I mean, I think you know what I'm saying. If you're arguing sure. about wh what movie you saw that actor in and you don't agree, fine, okay, I must be misremembering. But if it's like, oh, I've, I've, I've driven two years without an oil change, I'm not going to say, oh, you know, that's a really good idea. I'm glad you did that. Yeah. I, I, I mean, there, there's a difference. We, you, you've got, you can't just agree. You know, what does that go along to get along? I just, I just, there, there comes a point where you, you can't do that. Well, there's a, there's an old phrase, a military phrase that Art might recognize, and it's, uh, is this the hill you want to die on? Choose your <laughs> battles. Yeah, you got to choose them. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But there are times you need to go get in the battle. Right. So let's, uh, let's put this on a positive note because. Uh, you're you <laughs> philosophically because I I think we're all in kind of deep trouble here. Uh, we no, may ask, no, we're not. We, we no, may that's ask the our, point. We can say we're people too. We can no, say no, what we no, want. no, we can't because it'll come back and bite us in the butt. So, <laughs> so why don't why don't you sort of summarize all this in your booming, wonderful voice? I talk about the new phrase that you 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 coined here. Uh, happy house, happy spouse. Yeah, happy spouse, happy house, as opposed to just you know, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, yeah it's. I, I think that's the case. We just, you know, you, again, you're 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 trying to. I'm. I, I love making her happy or doing what she wants me to do, and she. But I think she is the same way. So it's not all. It's not a one way street. It's a two way street, right? So yeah, that's well, it. That's it. Just you know, take so. take, take care of your partner. Whatever you are, yeah. Whoever you are, yeah. I just want. I just want to go on the record to say that uh, two days ago, I actually did change the water filter. As a matter of fact, uh, I've got to order some more, so I've got the old one here. I just want to. This is not, uh, you know, something I just made up, you know, for. Uh, uh, well, I'm sorry, but uh, if there's no video reference of you actually doing it, of her videoing it, you can post, and I'm not buying it. <laughs> Oh, you mean the fact that there are still cobwebs on the box? Might be. Uh, as a giveaway? <laughs> yeah. I, and I always think I'm going to remember in six months to do it. You know, oh, okay, mm -hmm. I did this in February, so I'm going to remember, okay, in uh, in uh, August, I'll do this again. But it's funny, you know, when we do things for <laughs> so just as an aside, uh, I get uh, the air filters for the uh, uh, heating air conditioning system, and I get like a three pack, and I put the date on the edge of it. So every January 1st and July 1st, I replace it. But I don't get any credit for that because I'm just doing, I do that for me. So I, I got to well, figure out how to get her to nag me about that. The, the other say, key to on. that, the other key to that are is you got to remember to look at the date. Oh, wait. I mean, anybody well, can write the date on a filter. You got to remember to look at the date and go, oh, yeah, I got to do that. Yeah. Well, you mean uh, in case I have a privileged moment? Well, <laughs> put it on your it, phone calendar, put it on the calendar in the kitchen. That's the way, I mean, that's how I've got to do it. I can't just write down the date on something and then think I'm going to remember. Got it. That's a, that's a whole nother podcast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so happy house, happy spouse. Absolutely. Uh, we deserve to be happy too. Yep. Uh, but that also gives us the opportunity to nag when we'd like. So, you know, we get that little okay. bonus there. You're on your own. Don't forget to embrace your uh, mate. Embrace your mate and embrace the boom. Live your life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. If you're a baby boomer, you know, hey, this is never, as they say, never regret growing older. It's a privilege denied to many. And that's just how I'm trying to live. Always good to talk to you guys. Amen. See you soon, though. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, 
and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.